what's up <laughs> what's up everyone it's me here Harlanda and welcome to my channel we are here in the nursery let's get a little mood light going let's actually get some different colors today how about that one all right and then we do the same thing for this one turn it on we're going to turn into this pretty blue color Ooh, mood light all right, so that's really the reason why there's not a whole lot of lighting in my uh, nursery anymore because of the fact that I like to, I have replaced real lights with those little, I just call them mood lights. I'm trying to look outside. Nah, it's gloomy outside, so there's no point of opening up the window. I don't know, have you guys actually been able to see the purple in my hair? See, this one is actually purple. Can y'all see the difference? In this lighting, I know you can't really see, but you can see the purple. Most of the purple is in the top. So you can see it. Purple. So, I had already passed, but I just saw it, showed you guys, but I added a little, some extras to the wall back here. We have some mirror hearts surrounding the unicorn. As you can see, right here, uh oh, I'm knocking the boppy off. So there we have it. Cute, cute, cute. And I also added some to the bedroom, but maybe I'll show you guys later. And little Miss Lola is so mesmerized by the mirrors. She's sitting there just staring at them right now. So that's what she's doing. So I came here today to show you guys a little haul that I picked up yesterday all right so here we are and we are so excited to show you guys what we got yesterday at Burlington's I was not intending on doing any shopping but you know how sometimes things just happen and yeah I was actually only at Burlington's just to um, pick up a treasure chest for my kids this year for good behavior I am implementing a treasure chest and at the end of every two weeks or month or every week or something along those lines there will we they will get to earn stars every day for good behavior if their clip stays on green they get a star each day and like i say at the end of every two months or uh, something like that we will um allow them to pick a prize from the treasure chest so i found you know like in the kids section they have like these little these little bin little things that they open and close have the little latch on them and I actually found one with little pirates on it it says treasure chest on it and whatnot and I got that and I went to the Dollar Tree and at Walmart picked up a few little toys balls teddy bears little Hot Wheels cars just little things that will hopefully promote good behavior in my class to get them to make sure they listen to the teachers which is me and Miss Prophet and and do their very best this year so that they can learn and all that good stuff so I have my uh, little Lola here it's gonna be my helper um like I said there is no other light sources in here so I do apologize for the dim light but hopefully you guys are able to see I'm so happy with my little mirror hearts I think they bring out that wall um, add a little something extra to that wall and there was eight in the pack the other four in the bedroom and I actually bought another sign um, from Walmart because ours that one that I got from wish kept peeling and we was always you know rubbing it to make it stay it said always kiss me goodnight you guys have seen that in my bedroom so there's a new sign in there and I have the other four hearts surrounding that new sign so maybe I'll show you guys after this video is over if you're interested so I 
never considered myself to be a name brand ho 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 if you know what I mean because you know some people out there it's just all about the name brand it doesn't matter the I mean the quality should matter I'm hoping that it does matter but as long as it has a certain name brand on it you know that's what you look for I guess I am kind of for with my purses because I love but she's not like a really expensive unless you get the brand new ones but Betsy Johnson those are the purses that I used to be in, I'm into you know before that I love collecting Hello Kitty purses and I still will collect Hello Kitty purses but the only thing is with the Hello Kitty purses the ones I get is usually not the best quality and they usually don't last that uh, very long because I get them from you know overseas and whatnot and they're not the best of quality and before that like my mom and my cousins had me into the coach purses and stuff but then I like I was like whatever I started buying stuff that I like because I know a lot of people into the is it Mark no Mark Jacobs it's, it's somebody else that um, there's a new person well not new but I don't know whatever but I said I'll have to say that <laughs> I bought these Ralph Lauren shoes. Like, this is definitely out of character for me. But they were so cute. And I just had to get them. And they were expensive for me. $13. But I just thought they were so stinking cute. They're white with the light blue. And I couldn't find an outfit to match them. And they say polo on the back. And it says Ralph Lauren under it. But I probably could pair it with just like a little jean outfit and like a little white shirt for my boys. They were just so tiny. These were the only ones. And these were size zero. And they were just so cute. And I just couldn't pass them up. Remember I told you guys I was allowed to buy newborn boy um, shoes. Preemie outfits, preemie onesies. And I also need to add to that girl hand mittens, girl hats because they are definitely lacking. And when I look into their drawers for their socks, they don't need socks, but if I were to find like some rare colors that I don't really buy that would go with certain outfits, I probably would buy some socks or whatnot. The boys have plenty of hand mittens and plenty of hats. They have a lot of hats. The girls' hats are really lacking. But I haven't been able to find any hats and mittens that are cute because like if I find like like you know how those Gerber says they have the mittens and the socks and the hat and the ones that they match I would want to buy the whole set but for me there's always something in the set that I don't like like they have that princess set um that's out uh it's actually in Burlington now it was out for a while but one of the onesies is black and one of the hats are black have you guys seen that Gerber set where like they have like the little gold crowns and stuff and the one those are really cute but they kill me with the black onesie and i was like i could get it and just wash the black ones it'll be all right but i really like to steer clear of like those dark colors and denims um unless they've been washed like i say this was pre-owned i actually got this oshkosh little jumper from once upon a child and you could tell it had been washed several times so i knew that it was not gonna be a problem for my babies and i try to stick with this color denim like not any like dark super dark denim and things like that for my babies i try to steer clear of those things um so those are some other things that like i said you guys know i said sometimes you need a little retail therapy I didn't mean to have retail therapy, but I just found some stuff that I thought was cute. And it's just a, a few little things that I just wanted to get. I saw these and just thought these were cute. I wanted to get more and the prices were right. So you know at Burlington, you know, you can get like the cute Tommy Tippy pacifiers and stuff. You know, $3, that's a good price for Tommy Tippy. And I get 6 to 18 month, but the nipple doesn't matter. That's not what we use it for anyway. But um, it has the unicorn on this one. And this one has just a little happy star. And I also got the matching Passy Clips. They were also the same price, $2.99. So I just thought that was cute. And I don't have Passy Clips like this one. This one is like a little mint green. And it has a little castle and the rainbow in the background. 
and this one is a white background with little raindrops so I figured I put the raindrops with the star and the unicorn with the castle and it was another pack that I wanted but it's had like um Prince Charming or something on it and so it was something else but they were girly colors but it was for a boy and I was like I wouldn't use that for my boys so like to me these colors like this is girly to me like this kind of pastel -y looking colors that's that this is going to be for my girls so I got that I also got me a few more um boogan head little passy clips for my boys so I got this one with green, blue, uh, a light blue and a dark blue. Little stripe, I thought that was cute. These were $2. And all this came from um, Burlington's. I'm trying to sit my little girl up. And I don't want her head leaning back and getting the back of her head messed up. And I got this one, it was gray. And it has a little yellow trucks on it. I thought that was cute. So I figured that'd be cute with something yellow if I had anything yellow. And yes, this all was paid for with my money. I know I'm really gonna have to back back up. Like I say, I went there for the treasure chest yesterday afternoon. And of course, you know, I stopped by the baby section. Big mistake, but I found some super cute stuff. And I have a few little clothing items that I want to sh show you guys. All right. So let's put them this way. All right. Okay. So I have nothing to go with this, but I just thought this was so cute. The little newborn sweater is a denim blue. I figured it'd, it'd be cute with like a little skirt and just a little onesie with probably little rainbows or something on it. I have some onesies in there, but it's three months though. Um, but it's adorable look at this sweater like oh my gosh it was eight dollars this was definitely just like a just a I wanted it by I just thought this was cute and I'm pretty sure I can pair it with something it's so adorable with the little sun and the clouds and the rainbow I just thought that was so cute so I just had to get that and you guys as soon as I show you guys this you're gonna just say oh yeah duh she definitely was gonna buy that <laughs> so Bam! <laughs> I got a little Winnie the Pooh onesie with a little hat. Oh my gosh. When I saw this, you guys ought to see me when I'm shopping for baby stuff. And when I come across something that I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this. I have to have it. I, this is the face I make. <laughs> I'm sure if anyone sees me in the store, like, what the heck is wrong with her? Because like, I was flipping, I was like, I have to have it. <laughs> so that was my face. And these were only $5. $4.99 at Burlington's. And this is 0 to 3 month size Disney. So this will fit um, my girls. My, um, it'll probably be slightly tight. Um, my twin girls, uh, Anastasia and Persephone. And I also feel that this will look super cute on Alexander and Elijah. Super cute. So this is probably like kind of like a Halloween outfit. You know, I tried to get this like a costume. And, you know, speaking of Halloween, I got Mike Wazowski. <laughs> I had the same one, zero to three month with Mike Wazowski on it. So I figured this would be cute for Halloween because like I've been having like a hard time the last few years finding little Halloween outfits. Like the only place you can really get stuff from is like Carter's. Like they don't really have the little outfits like they used to. They just have like the little onesies and stuff and at Walmart and they're usually kind of just whack looking little onesies. So got some stuff for my babies for Halloween. And we're almost done. We just have two more things. I just saw these. These are for my twin girls. For Anastasia and Persephone. These are specifically for them. You guys have to tell me what this is. Is this like a raccoon or whatever? But I know what this one is. I, this was the one I saw first. 
and I had to have it so I got the little hoods up so this one's a little kitty and it's just like a little long sleeve romper that zips up so cute for the fall and the butt says meow I was like ah, I have to have it these were actually ten dollars so you know I really love them these were ten dollars a piece and I'm guessing this one maybe is a little raccoon or a little squirrel or something this one's purple and it has um it's a lavender like purple and it has dark purple hearts and silver hearts on it see and on the back of this one it says so cute so these are three month size that's the smallest size they come in and the brand name is play baby i think i have something else by this brand that i had bought recently i think can you see there it is it says play baby three months so I figured this would be so cute for my girls. Super cute. So this was like, uh, oh my gosh, I had to have it. So I got matching ones. So one of them is going to be meow and one is going to be so cute. So we shall see who's going to wear which one. So and that is my haul from Burlington's. Um, just a few little things that I just fell in love with and had to have. There were obviously other things that I wanted, but you know, you have to, Ugh. I'm trying to get the brush because so since she's sitting here, I just kind of, kind of brushing her hair a little bit. You have to be, you know, especially nowadays, you know, that I should not have splurged on that, but sometimes you just see stuff you just have to get it. I have a hundred dollars that's gonna be going in my account um tomorrow. Hubby's gonna to drop it off for me and whatnot. And he's just gonna put it in my account, and then I'm gonna transfer a hundred dollars to his account there because he sold the laptop for me. He was so sweet. I didn't feel like we can bother with it. And he's a computer person. And if anyone had any questions about like how many rams or gigs or whatever he would easily be able to answer their question so that's why i just said honey you just go ahead and sell it for me please and he did because he's such a sweet hubby but that's it that was um all i had to share with you guys i changed elijah yesterday oh, i'm sorry y'all i'm just manhandling my poor baby i'm trying to fix her onesie and stuff whole neck's just flying back there we go What's that there we go and who's next yeah um mr man over there is next well would you guys like it you know if i paused y'all and then um what you looking at girl she always looking at something. And I'm, yeah, that, yeah I, I keep forgetting. Like, she is the only baby that I get to see her her eyes. She is the only baby in my collection right now with eyes. Um, Until I get my two special babies I'm still waiting on, Aria and Cassian. I just cannot wait for them to um, make their grand debut home. I'm so excited for them. So that's something I have that I can look forward to. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get these clothes put up. I'm going to go ahead and pause you guys. Well, I'm going to stop you guys. And then I'm going to um, come back. Maybe I'll, well, I don't really feel like standing up. So I'll sit and chat with you guys. And we'll get um, Lucian dressed in something. How about that? Are you guys interested? If so, stay tuned. All right, hey you guys, I'm back. And I'm back with Mr. Lucian. Here he is, my sweet little Denver Rose by Marita Winters. And he actually got to meet his sculptor and she say, and say, she autographed my butt. She autographed my butt. All right, so this was his little tag on him from Rose. So take that off him now. 
and he still has on his frog set from Rose. He had his little froggy socks on. I love the little set I got from um little outfits I got from whatchamacallit. It may be a tiny bit big on me, the newborn stuff, but it looks kind of cute. Let me see if I can hang you guys down a, oh, a smidge so you can see them. There we go. And yes, he has on a disposable diaper that was in the um that was in the diaper bag. But I need to uh get rid of that. Mommy's got a cute dinosaur diaper for me to wear. So that gives you guys a clue as to what he's wearing today. You guys know me and the dinosaurs all day, every day. This was a little Clifford little diaper. I think I got in one of my baby's box openings. Still a good diaper, so I probably won't throw it away. I'll probably put it back in the diaper bag. Still pretty good. So we've already spritzed the clothes with some baby powder. So he has this Gerber newborn onesie and around the neckline and where the little legs come out is a pretty a pretty blue and they have little dinosaurs all over the onesie the background of the onesie is white and they have a little light blue and green and yellow dinosaurs they have um, stegosaurus triceratops um, What's the one that flies? Oh, I can't think of what that one's called. Uh oh, say, Mommy, you're putting on my onesie and you hadn't put my diaper on. So his diaper is this one. A little white background with green and a little turquoise. Turquoise. <laughs> you see me going back to my turquoise. Turquoise little uh, dinosaurs on there. Okay. Ooh, this Velcro Velcro does not play games. There we go. There we go. Those little diapers are so cute. There we go. Looking super cute. So newborn stuff is so big on him. So like the new, the new preemie stuff probably would fit him perfect. Old school preemie stuff probably wouldn't. And I just picked out this little newborn Carter's short sleeve romper. I forgot I hadn't cut the tag off yet. I just laugh at myself when I'm always like, oh my gosh, I have too much stuff. I need to use stuff where I got it. And then you always end up buying something though. It's like inevitable. Like something's gonna come out. Something's gonna be like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. I have to have it. Like that type of stuff always happens. I don't care what you do. 
It's always going to happen that way to you. So we're not going to unbutton it all the way. We're just going to slide it on up. And he's just going to, I'm going to probably wrap him up in a nice little blanket. And he's going to have his little tootsies and stuff out. And his little hands, I'm not going to put any mittens on him. There we go. So this may be a bit big, but we knew that coming out the gate. <laughs> See, I'm just a little peanut, but it's not too big. So there he is. Isn't he precious? He's so cute. The way the lighting is, is just washing him out. You guys can't even see his beautiful detail. He has beautiful, beautiful details. He was created by Eternal Hugs Nursery. And um, the artist behind that nursery is Yolanda Boyd Glover. And a lot of us old heads know her as Bad Chick Yogi 77. All us old heads, if you've been here several years plus oh i love his hair and then like i say when i do his hair and then it's kind of squish up his little curls they stay so nice look at his hair he has the most gorgeous head of hair my word yogi every time i look at this baby i'm like oh my gosh he's so doggone just he's everything like oh my goodness like I said, when I adopt my babies, man, I adopt for love. I'm not just, a, you know, out chasing the bigger, better thing. Like, I adopt my babies strictly from love. Like I say, I love this kit. Was in love with it when I went to the very first doll show I ever went to. And years later, I was able to acquire the kit and get this sweet little guy reborn by yogi and i'm just so excited and i also have the new passy clip i just got that i matched with his little outfit and he has the for sure this definitely is him hashtag cute because he definitely is such a little cutie so me and lucian's gonna chill out daddy is um still putting together his um shelf he had to go get some more wood and stuff so i'm just kind of having a dolly day here with the babies so it's sunday it is five minutes to 12. i woke up today around 8 30. stayed up kind of late and whatnot so so, uh, while I'm sitting here waiting, oh, this outfit really does look so cute on him. See, it's a tiny bit big, but it looks super cute. It's so funny, like on my little babies, I kind of like for them to have that. Get the keys. I kind of like for them to have that um, too big look. And since I got his hair looking so cute. He's not going to have um, a hat or anything on. Okay, so that's him on the rock and play. I got to get a clip for this and put these items back up and put this hanger up. But that's what my little guy looks like. So let me hang this stuff up and I'll be right back with my closing remarks. All right, y'all. I just finished uh, writing down Lucian's uh, track. Uh, writing down that I changed him. There we go. Okay, so next up will be um, Persephone Serene. Oh, and that is my sweet little chocolate princess Charlotte by Nikki Johnston. And then after that is Aria and Cassian and Dason. Um, 
And last on the list is Yuri. And I really need to, um, cause this can flip over. So I really need to print out a second page, which I meant to and put back here. So that I can flip it over and whatnot. I can go ahead and peel this off because I didn't peel off. I need to put this in my folder over there. I'm going to do that in a minute. But I didn't peel this off because I was like, I don't know. I might return this. I wanted to use it for a little bit and see how I like it. But I like it. So I can go and put that in the trash. So I need my tablet. My tablet is charging right now. But that's what I need so I can print out um, Arden and Rivers names and put them on here. And like once I have them, let's see, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, once, you know, all the babies that I have that need to come to me or get sent out, I will have 15 babies at the end of that. You guys remember when I was like, oh my goodness, 10 was my max? I've gone over that exponentially, I know. So, like I say, Ari is not here yet. Cass is not here yet. Dason is here, but he's just not painted. Um, so, whenever I get some funds to get him painted, um, maybe, hopefully, Dason could be my Christmas present this year or my birthday present or something like that. We'll see he's still my little kit and uh like i said i don't think i'm going to be uh changing him i think i'm just gonna leave him in that little polka dot outfit until he gets reborn no point of wasting outfits on him if he's not you know done yet i can't wait to see what yogi does with him she just made an uh amani um i saw on her post but yeah but it wasn't that you could it was like a different color it wasn't like the normal color i wish she would um post a picture of what the baby looked like without the little um filter on but yeah so he's done there we go all right hold on okay I'm going to put their birth certificates back here in the back since I reborn them. Let me see. Yeah. So I'm going to just slide their little certificates right here in the little pink pouch. All right, you man. Go ahead and fold it up like so. All right, you guys, so I got their birth certificates. I folded them so that they don't get messed up in the corners there. So, yeah. And here's my Amani. Wait, where's the name? Right there. <laughs> and my Charlotte. This is my second Charlotte that I got. So I got two Charlottes and two Megans. And these are my babies from Vintage Farm Nursery. I think I put them in order by how I got them. And I still have these from Thomas because that baby went to a lady in a nursing home and I knew she wasn't going to do anything with that. So. I just kept them and whatnot. And my birth certificates for my three babies that I got redone by Yogi. They're right there. I have stickers and stuff in here. Oh, that's the twins right here must be. 
yeah those the Megan's and this is my other baby I don't know why I have them all separated because they came at the same time oh no that is all three of them this is this is his birth certificate I forgot all about you, you honey <laughs> yeah, and all my little notes and stuff yeah because see I folded them because see I had them in there and these little rings were bending see how the paper got bent and stuff so that's why I folded them back in half back trifold the way they were folded so they don't get uh, messed up anymore so that's why I did that and then all of his things are in here from Kimberly got them in the bag there I need to take this to work I'm not going to do anything with that no that's not going to fit in there okay so and then the front I have stickers and paper and stuff alright so close that back up I miss having my little um, scrapbook for my babies but I just decided not to do that just keep their paperwork and keep it moving all right you guys while I had you guys paused I decided to wrap a present for a friend of mine that's having a baby <laughs> and he's actually my massage therapist but we have form such a bond he's my buddy I call him my little brother and uh, his girlfriend and him are having a baby so I took the since I, the stuff had been sitting over there and I was like eh. so I took the um, tags off you know the price tags off of everything and just put it in the bag now I just have to uh, they're having a boy so now I just have to and I went and bought something else for him yesterday with that other stuff. So I took the prices off of that stuff and and put that in there for him. And I have the tissue paper over there. But you know you do the tissue paper last so it's nice and fresh. there all right sorry about that I'm just I know I'm just kind of all over the place but uh, I think I'm gonna once you know I'm realizing now that I am all over the place and with that being said that means it's time for me to say goodbye because I am all over the place and uh, before I let you guys go something else that I will be on the hunt for is a hooded blanket for the boys i have the little cat hooded blanket for the girls i was able to find at burlington's i've been looking for them but the hooded blankets that they have for the boys they have this gray elephant and blue elephant but the elephant trunk is like like blam smack dab will be sitting on top of the baby's forehead and just even for like a regular baby i feel that that would be like very irritating to have this big elephant trunk and on your face so so I have not purchased that because I don't like the fact that the elephant trunk is like all in the baby's grill so I'm not feeling that so I'm waiting on them to come out because it's winter time is coming up so soon I should be able to acquire that um, because it's going to start to get cool and I figure I'll be able to find that. So that's something else I 
will allow myself to buy if I find uh, what I really want. So Lucian and I are going to bid you guys adieu. We love you all and we will chat with you all very soon. Blow aunties and uncles some kisses, man. <laughs> all right, I'm going to lay him down. This baby, y'all. So sweet. My my goodness. Like I said, my babies, you can tell the babies that I really like. And I know it's so odd. The babies I really like, I don't fool with too much because I don't want to mess them up. So, like I say, Arden and River, I'm like, whatever with them because, you know, I made them. And if something happens, oh, well, they are made with the air dry paints and I am wanting to kind of test them to see how they hold up um and whatnot but but that's about it with that so the next baby that i will be changing will be persephone and um i think i'm going to change her into that little princess outfit right there um so um you guys i don't know like all these different video clips i didn't fuse together i don't know how long this is going to be so I think I might stop you guys again. I think I'm going to get her dressed real quick. And I'll come back so you guys can see her. So I'll be right back. Alright guys. I'm here for the final portion of this little video. I have with me. Her Royal Highness. Princess Persephone here. And she has on this sweet little Gerber princess set. The hat is white. And it has a light pink crown in front with a darker pink heart right smack dab in the middle. I paired it with this I Love Mommy bib that actually came with a preemie set. And that just lets you know how big they make stuff. Um, her mittens are a light pink and they have little princess crowns and hearts on them, like in silver and white. And scooch this to the side. The onesie is um, white and it has a little crown with silver, sil silver polka dots or the outline of the crown and inside it says princess. And it's just a white onesie with a um, little skirt attached to it. It actually does have like a little light pink actual little skirt skirt. And it just has the little tool on top. And it's just, just a little onesie. And it buttons underneath. And she has a little um, princess um, onesie. You guys know that little Gerber onesie that's white. And it has little princess crowns and stuff on it that you get from um, Walmart for $2. The little onesies. And the boys, they have the ones with the little cars on it. And a dinosaur one. You guys know what I'm talking about. All the true shopaholic reborn mommies know like every design that has ever been made that's in the stores right now. And she has on some white ruffle socks and the pink, uh, the socks are white, but the ruffles are a uh, baby pink, a light pink. And that is what this sweet little girl is rocking. I have already marked her down for outfit of the day. For today and that is the conclusion of our video i hope you guys enjoyed coming and hanging out with us for a little while and now i'm about to fuse these little pieces together and get this video uploaded for you guys and it is almost lunch time here it is 15 minutes to one and i'm going to get ready to go have some lunch with hubby the same thing we had yesterday so that's it Mm -hmm. Peace. Bye-bye.